Hi guys, it's James with Cell31 Studios here. I just want to do a little video to talk about some apps I use on the side to make a little side money. Um, you've probably seen little ads on Instagram or Facebook that say, hey, you know, you can pay rent. Well, okay, you won't be able to pay rent with these, but these are the ones I found. I can make a couple extra bucks and it helps. So, here goes. So the first app I use is CoinOut. What you do is you scan receipts of things you've purchased. Here I did Little Caesars, Pizza Pizza, and it gives you points. That adds up. Well, this one actually gives you it gives you coin change to add up. Like this one, I got like ten cents on or something like that. There, it's at the top there, seventy three cents. Um, I have like sixty before that, or sixty three or something. But it adds up, and then you get to some point you can actually withdraw that into a gift card or whatnot. Um, certain certain badges and things you can do through them. The uh, coupon type things you can uh, earn extra money through them. I've never really actually messed with that too much, but you can look through if you download the app. Um, I'm also doing this on Android, by the way. So any iPhone users, um, I'm not sure what apps are available in the uh, iTunes store. But this is all through Google Play. Uh, here's my rewards. So you can do gift card, bank, PayPal. I always do gift card. Because then it goes to Amazon because I am one of those Amazon junkies that buys pretty much everything I can from Amazon. Um, next one is Receipt Hog. Um, it's a pig. I guess it's funny. <laughs> but uh, you can do the same thing. You take a picture of your your receipt. There's a little picture button down there on the right. Um, you scan it. Sometimes it takes a little bit to load. And hey, Little Caesars again. Just kidding. I'm just using the same app or the same picture uh, receipt. I mean, so take a picture of that. You can submit it there at the bottom. Um, sometimes they'll pop up and give you a quit, uh, like a, a survey. And so you go to see. Oh, I'm doing a survey about some kind of consumption thing. I can't remember. It's been a little bit since I took the survey. Uh, it doesn't do that every time, but usually it'll pop up, or every time it'll pop up and say, hey, who went? Was it a man, woman, child? So, you know, if it's me, I just hit me, and um, you can check it out. We'll check it out. And so there it is. It's processed. The cool thing about these apps is it keeps all your receipts. So if you lose your receipts and you have to return something, you have your receipts. Um, notifications, you keep track of your history on it. Uh, this gives you points. You can uh, do spins. It's like a slot machine. You can earn an extra coin. Usually not more than, like, five or ten but you can every once in a while rewards same thing you got um, gift cards this is Visa PayPal Amazon I once again do Amazon that's where I am Amazon junkie um, you can connect some of your other accounts and stuff and that saves you stuff so the next one is receipt pal same concept um, they do do a sweet stick the sweepstakes that pops up on some of these and it gives you like certain points and other words like the, you know, the sweepstakes but yeah, these little cards you fill out, same thing, you take a picture of your seats. Oh, there we go. And you submit that, it fills out four receipts per card. And when you, all these cards filled out, it like gives these extra entries into like a sweepstakes. I never won it, so I'm not really sure how that works. But same thing, it gives you points. Once you get to a certain amount of points, you can withdraw. Now you can see here, you actually have to reach a certain amount before you can withdraw. Now our Seahawks the same way. Um, this one's that way. Um, the first one coin out you can just basically pull out as little as you want because it's literally you're not earning points you're earning like, like change so here are the cards you can see the cards uh, scrolling through them and boom once you get there you start earning some sweepstakes stuff which is cool and then moving on to the next app is fetch and they just updated it so they got a cool little opening logo that's not on here now but this is the old version um, this gives you points for stuff you buy at stores, same thing you can scan receipts, but if there's specific things that you buy that's like on this list, like especially like diapers, oh man, they give you so much points uh, for buying diapers. Or if you're referring friends, like I referred my ex, got a whole bunch of points, she referred her family, she got a whole buttload of points, um, which is kind of cool. Um, same thing, you scan, hey, go see what you get. Um, submit it. Now this is very kind of specific on what receipts it wants. Like Little Caesars is probably only giving me a couple points. It wants more like grocery store stuff. Convenience stores, like gas stations, will kind of give you some points, but it's more like, you know, uh, a grocery store that gets you more points on, on the Fetch app here. Um, and also, I'm checking here, it takes forever, but you can actually do e receipts so you hook up your Amazon account, and if you've been buying stuff, it can give you points for Amazon. Uh, here's your rewards screen, and you can kind of go through. This is checking you know, my available points, so I had 2,900 at that point. I can enter a sweepstakes, but if you start getting up to about 3,000, that's when you start doing the gift cards. They got a pretty big selection. Um, once again, I always do Amazon, but that's me. But you can do, you know, food, whatnot, theaters, 
um, when they open again, yeah. and uh, whatnot. So you, know, you can kind of scroll through them, and they, and they have like different like levels. Um, you get up to now. You can also check your history, check your spending history, what receipts you submitted. You can check your receipts. Same thing as the other ones. So once again, if you lose your receipts, boom, you got them. It's cool. Uh, it has a you know, how much you spent by retailer, which is pretty cool. Not all stores are in their system. Sometimes I'll do like I'm in the Southwest. I do Maverick. Boom, it doesn't pop up. But once again, you get points for referring people, like I said earlier, which is cool. E receipts, and that one is fetch, which is pretty cool. Uh, my next one. Now this one I have a love hate relationship with. No offense to you guys, uh, the guys that made this app, but Ibotta, super cool. But it takes forever to load. Like oh my goodness, sometimes it won't load and I have to like shut it down, start again. But when it does, it's pretty cool. And what I like about this app is you can choose your stores that you like to go to and then it kind of it promotes eating more healthy stuff so you're not going to find like you know packs of monsters on here or candy it's mainly like more healthy stuff unfortunately stuff that's a little more expensive but it gives you points back for it um i go alberson's a lot lens but like alberson's like here like to do and you go up and this is everything they have here they have all their items you know grapes and the cool thing you can kind of see there on the left is a picture of a receipt it's only like 75 cents, but if you even just buy anything and you submit the receipt, it gives you that. Now, it doesn't always do that. They kind of interchange when they have those available. But it's cool. They're like, hey, you just you went there, you get 10 cents or 75 cents. It's cool. But then there are other stuff that's very specific items. When you add it to your cart, um, well, when you check it, sometimes they give you other offers that kind of are similar. This is my card, my list. Then you go to the store, buy it. And I don't have a receipt on this one because I didn't go to Albertsons. And they don't have little Caesars in here, I don't believe. But yeah, you redeem it. You go select your store. Um, boom, take a photo, and it'll submit it. Same thing. Now, the difference with this receipt app is when you take a picture of it, it'll usually ask you to scan the barcode on the item to make sure you actually have the item. They don't want you, I guess, using other people's receipts. But you got a bunch of stores, badges you can use, other things to earn, contests earn extra money on the side, which is cool. You know, as you're buying all this stuff. And it's cool because if it's stuff you're normally buying, it's cool. And it's actually, for me, been kind of cool because I've kind of explored things i never bought before, brands and whatnot. And this one, you have to get $20 before you can withdraw money. And then you can withdraw it. Same thing, PayPal, gift cards. And let's say again, I use Amazon. But there's a bunch of stuff on here. So um, right now, I have $6.50 in there. I think I have a little bit more since I've actually did this uh, screen cap. But it's pretty cool, but like I said, it's very specific items. It's a little slower app to load, but it's got a lot. Um, now this is going a little bit off of uh, scanning receipts, but it's just apps of like you know, you want to save some money, get free stuff like Costa Vida. You can, I, I, I will buy food there every once in a while. Uh, it has points, and you get you know coupons, things like that, free items, um, discounts. So anything to save money, boom, I'm there. So wherever you live at in the country, the world, you know, look for stuff like that. Um, I have some stuff later in the video coming up, which will be like gas stations. Uh, and then there are gas stations that I'm doing that are specific to my area. Um, Costa Vida, it looks like you can do uh, gift cards, you know, if you wanted to get some somewhere. But mainly I like to just scan my receipt and earn points. Uh, Domino's doing a cool thing. As you buy pizza, you earn points for each purchase. And you can get a free pizza after you get to 60 points, which is cool because I love Domino's. And, you know, it's a free large. Like one top, that's cool. Now, Stash is anything like that. What I'm going to offer with Stash is if you deposit into their account and spend with their debit card, you can actually get stock back. So you're not actually getting cash back, but it's stock and what things you buy. Like I do Netflix, so that's giving me 2% every, every time I pay my bill on that. Um, I go buy gas at like a Chevron. That gives me some stock back. So like I said, it's not cash back in your pocket, but you're earning stock, which is kind of cool. So you can see kind of my stocks earn like, like 86 cents or something like that, 88 looks like in Netflix. Um, you know, on, on down and then, and then if it's not one that offers a stock you can have like a general match the market fund or something you can find that you want that generic stuff to go into but stash is cool because you can invest and just you know don't, you don't have to be like some stockbroker or something to do it it's just easy um, biolife anybody out there plasma sell plasma you can get like three up to 300 bucks a month sometimes even more if they're doing promotions so it's not really anything you're scanning just go sell your blood uh, now this is a grocery store this is Albertsons. so utah we have a lot of Albertsons around here uh, you buy stuff, now they're a little bit more expensive of a store, but you earn points and you get free items. Like the other day I got points, I got a free uh, 
thing of eggs, which you yeah, got eggs are only a couple bucks, but you know what, free is free, and if I'm already buying groceries, why not earn points and get some free stuff? So, you know, wherever you live at, you know, check out your grocery stores, they probably offer some very similar stuff. Hey, you can see I live in St. George. So, come hit me up if you want. <laughs> uh, so that sometimes takes a phone to load, they got lots and lots of coupons. Every once in a while they do a free offer. This time they did a free offer where I could go get a free rotisserie chicken, which is great. I was dinner for that evening, I fed the kids. I got three little small ones so they don't have really big tummies, and it fed them. That's oh, sweet, because you know, free is awesome. Nothing's better than free, you know, America's kind of obsessed with that, and so am I. So yeah, got that free, you add it to your cart, boom, there it goes, it adds to your cart. You go, you do in your phone number when you're checking out, and it automatically gives it to you. You don't have to swipe nothing, nothing. Bam, you're done. Um, weekly ads, you can check, you know, all that good stuff. They got coupons in there, all that good jazz. And moving right along. More free stuff. I've kind of skipped through this. There's different reward levels as you build up points. Um, my understanding with Albertsons is I think it's once a month. The points like restart or something like that. I haven't really got that many points to ever have it like restart. So they, they kind of encourage that you use them. Um, ooh, you can get a free kind of avocado um, when you get points. Um, yeah, I usually get like bread or eggs or things like that. But and you can get to where you're like doing like couple bucks off a purchase you can get one of those as rewards and they got different reward where levels so like i said every store uh, everybody's starting to do this kind of stuff you know it takes a couple minutes to set up and count why not you know they have your phone number your info like who cares like everybody tracks us anyway especially if you use amazon so whatever uh speedway one of our local gas stations they only have one in this area now this app is like super like in depth there's a lot going on but you buy gas you buy items you get points once again you can build up for uh for gift cards. Uh, you can also see your closest store what the gas prices are, which is cool. Well, apps offer that. Uh, their food offers, whatnot. You can buy one, get one free. Um, once you start building up points, you can then actually get free items if you use them. Um, you can set like a, oh, there's something with the gas you can set up where you're earning like double points a month or something like that. So sometimes I'll take my work truck there. It's a big diesel and it, it takes like, oh, my new one takes like 80 gallons, so it fills up, it gives me a whole bunch of points. So, and, and most gas stations, like I said, carry stuff like this. And I, I have two that I'm listing on this on this video, so you'll be able to see that. Ooh, did you see that the location? Uh, you can redeem the points, like I said, for items. You know, food. I'm mean, always kind of I'm a bad person. <laughs> I'm just a bad person. But I, I like my junk food. I drive for a living, and so I like show up and I'll get my junk food by I you know, drive around, mainly monsters. Um, but yeah, you can redeem those for things, items, whatnot. Uh, you could actually do, when you get enough points, redeem it for uh, money off per gallon of gas, which, which is cool. I kind of want to get to that 50 cents off per gallon. I'm pretty sure there's a limit on how many gallons. But once again, boom, gift cards. Google Play is a good one because that's what I use, Netflix, whatever. Amazon, if I haven't said that enough, enough in this video. I'm pretty sure I should just title this video Amazon gift card or some crap like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you can kind of scroll through that. And, that's a speedway, and I'm not sure if they're nationwide or, or whatnot, but we just have one Sarah that I have to use, so kind of go through that. You can kind of see I'm spending too much time on the gift cards. Mm. Little cash gift card fuel. Gosh, that'd be cool too. But you got a lot, a lot of points to get those. So um, they have little like clubs. I guess you buy so many items, and you get like a free item or something like that. I don't think I've ever actually used those to the truth. I really pay attention. Um, my app is actually coming up, the one I'm super obsessed with, so I'll skip ahead to that. Okay, this is the app that I love, Maverick. So like I said, I'm in the Southwest, there's lots of Mavericks. Like, we're obsessed with our Mavericks, like, they're on every corner. Um, yes, you earn points for the same thing, gas and buying stuff, but you also earn punch items, so you can punch for, they make burritos and stuff in their store. You can get punch items for any one of their items they make, for monsters. Um, they do offer coupons every once in a while pop it up. Um, contests you can enter into if you want to attempt to win one of their cool like motorcycles or something like that. Those are always fun. But you always get free food. That's helped me out on days I didn't have any money. I'm like, I'm gonna count, I like to get free food. Or you can save up for one of their gift cards, which I've actually saved up enough points at one point to get the $20 gift card, which man, that really helps out when you don't have money and you need some gas in the car. Even the $5 one. And you just apply your points to it, you redeem it, you go to the store, and get it. You know, and you can use it for any of their items or food, anything on the store, or for gas. Um, I've done a little bit of both, but it was kind of a goal. I get obsessed with like, oh, I want to get up to the $20. And I did. 
So, but I've, I've got a couple fives before that and then a 20. Lately, I've just been kind of using it for free cookies or whatnot because, you know, like I said, I drive. Now, this right here is Microsoft Edge or formerly Bing. You can actually have an account with them, go through and do surveys. Um, not, well, not necessarily surveys. They're more like uh, quizzes and just check out some of the things they offer daily and it gets you points. Now you can set goals. See so like, okay, this is like, hey, check out these movies. Boom, well, it gives you the 10 points. Um, this or that's kind of like a little quiz. Which of these known as a calf and you go through that, boom, 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 boom. And I'm not gonna go this, so do this whole thing for you because it, it's a lot. I mean, yeah, it's only 10 questions, but you'll see. And like I said, that, that's through Bing. So let me skip ahead here. Uh, this is like, you know, uh, today's poll, and it gives you 10 points. That's pretty much every day. It's guaranteed 10. Some of these give you up to 50, which is kind of cool. There's my rewards. Boom, boom. You can scroll through the links that they offer this every day. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down, down here to the bottom. So you can actually set up what you want to use your points towards and kind of set up as a goal. And as I've already said... Amazon, I do use Amazon, but you can do it towards like the Xbox, um, a couple other things. I'll scroll through here a second, Ooh, celebrities. And this stuff that if you click, you just click on it, kind of look through it. You don't even have to do much. It, you just click on the link and it gives you points. So coming down here, there's some quizzes. Okay, there's my my Amazon gift card, $5. It's a, it looks like about halfway there. So I've been doing this for a couple years now and I think I've got about $100 from them. Like I said, it's only five dollars at a time, but you know what? Every little bit helps. So, so you can set up to donate to the organizations or do Skype, Amazon. Uh, like I said, I think there's an Xbox one on there, and you can set up as a goal. So you work towards that, and then it tracks so you can see how close you are, and then you redeem it and it sends it a link to your email. You can, you know, confirm that. A couple days they send you the, the code, you put that on your Amazon uh, gift registry for redeeming, and bam. But yeah, look, so we're at 2020, and I I believe I went all the way back to 2017. So I did it for, I've done it for quite a while. I know 100 bucks isn't a lot for, gosh, three years, but you know what? It's again, uh, money's money. And it helps out. It's helped me like buy like kids' shoes before, like when my kids go out to their shoes. I mean, you know, buy a $20 pair of shoes, you know, as I add up all these gift cards. So, so moving on from that, Go through this a little bit, and then I say I do this all on my phone. Um, you just download the app and just do it right through Edge. Here's some of the items you can choose: Microsoft Rewards, you know, sweepstakes, things like that. Sweepstakes, I kind of feel like it's kind of a waste of time. I prefer just to have straight out like a gift card, so I know I've got something. And that's stuff you can always just look through yourself if you like. There is being that's that's the home page. I mean, they call it Microsoft Edge now. And you just sign in and whatnot. But. So that's it, guys. Uh, these, these are some of the things I make use to make money on the side. So thank you for watching. And if you guys have any apps that you guys like, just let me know. You know, make a comment. I'll love to check them out. There's a lot of apps I have tried that I didn't list in this video that just weren't great. They were game apps. Some that made some money. Some that just puttered out. Some that were just basically a complete scam. Um, so I would love anybody's like feedback. Um, let's spread the let's spread the love. Let's help each other out. Um, like Pat Flynn says, you know, just basically help other people, and uh, we're all in this together. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.